guys, it's your boy Board Student back for another episode of the Enigma 2 server. Let's go! Alright, so last episode we progressed a bunch in thermal expansion and got a bunch of machines and stuff. I don't worry about that over there for a second. <laughs> um, and uh, upgrade our power system a little bit. And I believe that's pretty much all we did. So between episodes, I did some work as, as always. Uh, I made this, these cool thing called an elevator, which is with uh, the open blocks mod, but if you uh, hit shift on it, look at that, you go down a level and up a level. So you saw a brief glimpse of what I've what I've done. But so let me get out of the first level. So shift once, I got out of this level. So I created this this uh, cool little space for our machines, and um, I set up a whole bunch of our, our all of our machines that we made last episode. Then I even uh, set up uh, our ore processing stuff over here, so you can just put the ores up on top over here, and then down here the ingots come out. Um, and what I did is I put a, a, a layer of air between uh, the two rooms um, so that I can run wires under there and stuff. And that's that's where the power lines are. You can see some of them right there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pleased with how this turned out. It looks looks really cool. Uh, we're just gonna, oh, for sake. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really I'm really happy with how that turned out. Um, so we're gonna put that there. Uh, you guys know all these machines right here. We went over them last episode. Uh, the, there's one new one, which is the At Atomic Reconstructor, which is from Actually Editions, which is what we're kind of going to be focusing on this episode. But so basically, what this does, uh, let me go grab grab something I can demonstrate with there. These are all all to make crafting materials in the mod. So if, you, if I click on the button right there, it makes the Restonia crystal. And then if I use lapis, it makes the palace crystal and then if I use coal it makes a void crystal see right there and then finally iron nugget or iron nugget iron iron ingot toss it down there and click it turns into an anori crystal um, and you can it, it works on blocks as well so if you do blocks of the same material um, it will uh, it will turn into yeah it's it's nice um so that's so that's that and i'll show you what, what we use to craft um use that the craft in a second but so then we have one more level which is the basement right here you can see we have our lava set up right here you can kind of see in the back right there is our little lava tank boy um and then we have this this power cell which is from rf tools and the reason why we changed the power cell that we're using is because well, number one, this stores 20 million RF or RFE because that's how RF tool does it, but it's 20 million. Number two, we're using this thing, uh, this power cell card, um, because I'll show this off in a later at a later time. But we're using it to power a very very cool project at spawn, and you can link power cells together and you can supply power. So I'm giving the boys some pa some of our power because they the, um, they need for a project. So that's cool. So we can wirelessly transfer power that way. But you can see power line goes up. Um, and that's how that works. But that's, uh, that's for, uh, and then the last thing we work, worked on between, well, not the last thing, but almost the last thing is what we're basically, I did some work for what we're gonna do today. So this, this right here is some canola um, and we're using the farmer from actually editions. Um, and basically how this works is it powers with the energy cables right here you can see and it and it farms in a nine by nine area it automatically will plant seeds and then it'll automatically break the plants when they're ready to be harvested um and we've got these little earthworm boys right here uh, whenever you till grass you get a chance to get them and they're really cool because they keep um they basically keep soil wet and they also make stuff grow faster so that's very cool so We've got our we've got our farmer harvesting canola uh, and canola seeds, and uh, going up, up there and then right here. And what that's used for is the the uh, um, canola goes into these canola presses right here. Um, you see, they're all they're all powered. And then uh, these fermenting barrels automatically scoop the um, well. The canola press basically makes uh, you can see it there canola oil. And then the fermenting barrels, we don't even need to put pipes on them, which is nice, we just attach them to the quinola press. Um, 
but the fermenting barrels take that canola oil and make it into refined canola oil. And so what is all that for, you might ask? Well, we're going to set up a pretty crazy power system with with some oil from, from some canola oil from actual additions, but we're going to do some crazy stuff to the oil before we actually use it to power. Um, it's all going to this drum from extra utilities. It's just like it, it's a tank, a huge tank. It holds a whole bunch. So I've been, I've had this chugging along and making some oil between the episodes, which is nice. But uh, last thing I did is I just did a little bit more upgrade to the tools. They're all, you see, they're called manulin. Um, Manulin is made out of ardite and cobalt, which are two ores that you find in the nether. And it's basically the uh, the best tools that you can get in Tinker's Construct. So that's all I did to them is I, I just, um, they're now made out of the best metal. So it's the, they're the pretty much the fast, base fastest they can be and, and most durability and that kind of stuff. That's cool, cool. So I think that recaps everything that we did during, uh, during episode. So what are we going to do this episode? So we are going to set up an uh, actual editions version of oil refinery. Now actual editions kind of works like, uh, you know, you'd think maybe a, a actual canola oil factory would work except for it, then it, it starts doing some crazy stuff. So we need to grab some, we need to grab all of this stuff right here. And this is, uh, bear with me because this is going to be a very tech heavy episode. There's going to be a lot of freaking mumbo jumbo type type stuff in this episode so bear with me um uh we also need a wooden pressure plate i forgot that that part um let me just grab two of these oh we already have some right there what we okay very cool okay oak pressure plate um so uh remember our atomic reconstructor that we had in the basement well we can use that to make the oil this oil right here way better and I will show you exactly how we do that. We're going to use some seeds to do that. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to, I, I made this little area here so we can do this over here. Um, mm -hmm. um, let's, uh, so let's put that down there and then we're going to put our atomic reconstructor right there. Now we need a, um, we need to make sure the atomic reconstructor is in the right mode because some, uh, depending on what mode it is, it can like continuously pulse on its own. And we want it to only activate when, when the pressure plate is pressed. So let's see, let's make sure it's in the right mode. Um, pulse. There you go. So, Oh, hello. Oh, right. Of course we need to, <laughs> we need to power it. Uh, let me go grab some, some power cables. Look at that worked out perfectly okay so look at that now it works so what what are we going to do with this we're not going to make the other stuff that i showed you we're going to actually take some canola seeds and if you watch if we toss the canola seed onto here it automatically turns it into crystallized canola seeds and the crystallized canola seeds when you Oh yeah, we completed a quest for that. Very cool. We'll do that later. Um, when you toss those those into um, uh, like a oil, it'll turn it into crystallized oil, and that's what we want. Um, and we're gonna set up an auto automation system to do all of this. Um, but first of all, we want an automated system for our, our our seeds to turn into crystals. So we are going to need. Um, let's see. Inventory checker, sequencer, yes, all all this good stuff. So we're going to need uh, this. Let me. Uh, oh, frick, I need to get me get some blocks. Um, like I said, you're gonna have to bear with me this one because this this is a quite a uh, a complicated system that I need to remember how to make. Um, but anyhow, so let's put that right there. So the automatic position dropper is another thing from actual editions, and it's a it's it works like a, a you know a actual dropper does this drops items, but uh, you can um, but it can be modified uh, with redstone signals, and that's what we want. Um, and I'll explain why that is in just in just ah man, come on, in just a second. We actually should be able to if we if we go and get our our wrench out believe we should be able to turn this around. No? Oh, we need the actual distance wrench, of course. No, that's the RF tools wrench. 
idiot. Ah. Uh, give me, give me one second. Okay, we're back. Um, I just had um, there was a block, a certain block that I was going to use that ended up not working. Uh, but we found a different one, so it's good. Okay, anyways, so uh, where were we? Um, so we put our dropper down. Um, basically what we're going to be doing here is we want to basically, um, if this thing uses more power, um, like the more items you're trying to do at once, so it's best to, to do the seeds, uh, one at a time and not do too many at once. So basically what we're going to do here is, um, we're going to have the dropper drop the seeds and we're going to have this accumulator from thermal expansion pick up the seeds. It just vacuums them up, which is really nice. And it's going to put them into this drawer over here. So... Uh, receive, pick that up, right? So what we want to do is we want to blacklist. So if we set this to blacklist, and we want it to blacklist canola seeds. So we'll not pick up canola seeds. And then we also want it to configure so that um, let's click on it regularly. Uh, we do not want it to go to the top. Uh, we would like to get to go out of the back. I believe that is the back. Uh, yes. So. Uh, auto output enabled very good okay so so in theory if we put a if you drop a canola seed right there um let's stand back a little bit uh look at that very nice okay um so we're now what we're going to do is we're going to use this special little tool from RF Tools, which has a bunch of nifty things and it. Will, there's a lot of really cool stuff that we'll get into later. Um, but it's got things like this in it. And what this is going to do is it is going to check the inventory on this um, to make sure that we don't have too, uh, too many because um, we don't need a whole lot of these to convert the oil, but we need a steady supply of them. So we don't want to waste power, and we also don't want this to, to for some reason, get backed up, even though the drawer has a lot of space. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this right here. Um, let's take the wrench. Uh, oops, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to take a little bit of redstone and some blocks. Um, should run right here. Da, 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 da. Uh, let's, grab, let's grab some dirt. One, two. We're gonna make this quick and dirty, if you get what I'm saying. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh, anyways, uh, let's grab our redstone. You can see right now it's not powered, that's okay. Oh, we don't want it. Okay, let's go around here, uh, up here, and, oh. No, we want it to go right there there we go okay so if we go into here we can see we wanted to, to set to slot one which is what's right in front of it and then so we want to so right now it's set to one so you can see um it's powered the redstone so if we put a canola seed in here it should not drop it nope it doesn't very nice okay but if we go in here and let's set it, let's set a let's make our amount uh 100 so you can see it dropped it and then if we put more more in there it'll keep going um so there we go so that's pretty much how this works so we've got this pretty much automated now on now all we gotta do is is um let's grab some item ducks and then we're going to uh take the um do I have item ducks? yeah i do okay um and we're gonna grab one of these oh these reinforced servers by the way uh extract uh uh, just extract more than one item at a time and you make them with uh, Electro. It's very simple. Um, anyways though, uh, let's take our, our item ducks and we're going to suck our seeds out. I do like sucking seeds. I shouldn't say these things, but I, I do anyways. Uh, we're gonna need a few more item ducks in general. So let's see. Item Duct. Let's remember how to make those. I just want an item duct. Okay, tin and lead. Easy. Um, let me just grab a little bit of lead. Let's make one, two, three, four. Make plenty of these. Uh, I did a little bit of more mining between those sets, by the way, as you can see. Not a whole lot because we right now we have 
plenty of resources for what we're doing. Um, but anyhow, let's connect that up. Um, do the wave now. I can whack the servo in here, and then we're going to say ignored, and that should. Um, why are you not taking? Let's uh, let's try this whitelist canola seeds. Let's try that. No, you don't like that. Why don't you like that? Why aren't you Why aren't you being nice to me? Um. Hmm. Give me one second. Ah, so it, it will not take the seeds out until it fills up the left slot completely with seeds. Uh, but that's okay. Um, we should be able to get this this system running anyways without that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go on here then, and we're going to uh, let me grab one. Uh, let's grab a canola seed out of there. Um, let's blacklist canola seeds on this servo so it doesn't go up there. And then they're whitelisted on this one. So it should go in here. So what we can do for now is um, we can grab some of these out of here so we can start making. Um, uh, why are you doing this? I'd... You know what? We can just put it. We can just put a block there because we don't need to see what's going on there anymore. So there we go. And then we'll whack those in there. So now we're so now we're making a bunch of those. Yeah, see, it's barely using any power. Uh, we may have to start. I don't think this is. I don't know if this is going to be enough power. Yeah, we'll eventually have to connect this up inside, but we're doing okay for now. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Y'all don't need to see that. Okay, so that part is done. So we're making our, our crystallized canola seeds um, automatically now. Oh my god, I don't, I don't want to do that. Uh, but we're doing that. So the next, the, the final part is to make the crystallized oil. So the way that we're going to do that um, is... Why do we have two fluid... We need a fluid... Oh my god. I was having issues with this earlier, um, but we need we need a fluid collector, not a fluid. Uh, say see, fluid collector. Yeah, there we go. So we need an auto breaker. Yeah, we just need one of these. Uh, so let's grab ourselves the void crystal. What else do we need for that? Uh, void crystal and a basic coil. Easy. Oh, God. We need motor. Both of these. Um... Yes. Why am I stupid? Um. Here we go. Let's make one, two, three. Ugh. Will it work? Yes, okay. Sweet. So let us make our auto breaker. Ugh, we need we need stone. I am just not having a good time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay. Now we make our auto breaker. Nice. And then we make our bucket. One, two. And then we make that, and that's our fluid collector. It's unfortunate that we didn't have one of those, but it's okay. Um, let's whack one of those back in there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the final piece over here. Let's kind of try to line, line it up a little bit, just make it look pretty. Well, it is, it's not going to look that pretty, but it's it's fine. Uh, let's start over here. Uh, we're going to take our dropper, and we're going to face it up like that. Um, and then we are going to take these scanners from Extra Utilities, and we're going to put them just like that. Oops, where'd you go? You freaking kidding me? Okay, there it is. Um, let's get our wrench. Oh my god, I'm just not having a good day today. Uh, yeah, we'll make sure that red dot's pointing in there. So what are the... Uh, these are going to detect what kind of fluid is in here. So we're going to put our 
fluid placer right here. Is it chasing the right direction? Of course it's not. Um, hello. Thank you. Uh, that's our fluid placer. And where's our fluid collector? Right there. Very cool. Okay. Um, there we go. So what we're gonna do here is so the fluid placer we want a uh, we want this to go over there. Um, so let's let us get some more fluid ducts. Tell if I've prepared well for this episode. Fluid duct, fluid duct, fluid duct. Uh, hardened fluid duct. Um, let me see. What's the recipe for fluid duct again? Fluid duct. Oops. No, not fluid cut. Fluid duct. Hardened fluid duct. Um, invar and hardened glass. Easy. We've got plenty of invar. Uh, da, da, da. There it is. Okay. We're just gonna turn all of us in the fluid ducts because we're gonna need lots of these down the line. I am almost positive. So there we go. There's there's our fluid ducts, and then we are going to let's go over here. This really does not look pretty right now. We'll we'll make it look better. Um, probably off camera. I just want to I just want to do this with you guys so we can you can see how to do it. Um, yes, let's bring it all the way over here. It's nice that these play nice with each other. Um, put it right there. Our fluid. There we go. There's our fluid placer. Uh, oh, no, we need another server. Servo. Um, tech stuff. There's our reinforced servo. Might as well use it, right? I'm gonna say ignored. And there we go. Now it brings that fluid out, and then it's going to bring it all the way over here to our fluid placer. Oh, yes, but of course... Oh, man, no, 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 no. Okay, that's, we did not want that to happen. That's okay. Um, hello? Give me... Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Um, let us do that. Okay, so this scanner right here we're going to set it to detect the current block so this one is going to to look for refined canola oil um and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our crystallized canola seeds drop it in here and now we have um crystallized canola seed in there you can uh, canola oil in there you can see it's kind of red um and then we're gonna set this one to detect crystallized oil. So basically when it detects one of these, it's gonna put out a redstone signal. And we basically only want it to, um, only want the the fluid placers, the placer to place when, uh, or we want the collector to only collect when there is um, crystallized canola oil in there. So basically the way that we're gonna do this is, give me one second, hold on, I'm just reading reading off my notes here okay so what we want to happen is we want the one that is looking for refined canola oil um we basically want it to pulse when it's when it sees canola oil and then it's going it's going to um have the precision dropper put the crystallized canola seeds in um but if we just set up a regular piece of redstone it's not going to pulse it is only going to um it's only going to have a constant signal. So what we want to do instead is we want to um, we want to use another little RF tool uh, tools thing called a um, a sequencer. And basically, the way this is going to work is going to look super janky, but that's fine. Um, let's get our redstone. And so when this is on, it is going to go to this sequencer. And the sequencer is going to do a pulse for us. Um, hello? No, come on. Why are you like this? There we go. Um, we got our dirt. Uh, give me that. And there. Okay. So then um, 
if we click on the sequencer we're gonna have here each one of these little boxes is a tick in minecraft so we're just gonna do eight of them so if we check eight of them it'll do eight eight ticks um pretty simple and then we're gonna put our redstone down and have it go over here oh no no don't want that oh man that's fine it's cool i'm figuring i'm figuring this out with you guys i've I, uh, it's been a, it's been a minute since I've done complicated stuff like this, but we want this to work well, so I'm, I'm, I'm braving through it with, along with y'all. Uh, let's whack that there, and then we'll bring this over here. Uh, no, why are you like this? <laughs> I wanna cry! No, I don't. Um, hmm. You know what? Actually, it'll work this way. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now when it sees uh, canola, uh, just regular canola oil there, um, it'll pulse the seeds in. So the next what we want to do is we want it. Uh, and then, of course, it won't pulse the seeds if it's not there. So we want the fluid collector to collect when it sees the... Um, the crystallized canola oil. So give me one second. Let me consult my notes. Okay. So we're yeah. We're, we're basically just doing the same thing. Let's get our fluid collector. Uh, we're just gonna keep it turned around for now, so it just doesn't it doesn't just collect fluid. Uh, we're gonna put our sequencer down. We can actually just do that. Um, there we go. Nice. And then we're gonna grab a redstone and go around here. No. Ah. Oh. I hate how redstone works sometimes. There we go. Um, and then we we'll make sure, the one thing I didn't do in the last one is that we're set, set the same text. We actually have to set it to be a loop. So loop four is loop the cycle when redstone signal is present. Restart no si the signal. Yeah, so you can see it's, it's pulsing right now since uh, there's uh, crystallized canola oil in there. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, oops, we're gonna rotate this so collect why are you oh, no it's because there's freaking canola oil in here uh, <laughs> um i believe if we oh fuck's sake why are you like this i don't oh can i just <clears throat> um i'm just gonna make another barrel really quick and show you guys how the barrel's made. Why not? Uh, blip. Blip, blip, blip. There's a cauldron. Gonna, oh. Okay. We're gonna make two of those. I'll go right there, right there. That. Three, one, two, three. There you go. There's a barrel. And then, or, it's iron drum, sorry. Okay, my terminology, right? Um. If we whack this on there, yeah, it should drain all of that out. So then, there, look at that. See, it collects the canola oil. And then now it put it put the um, regular refined canola oil in, and you can see this one's pulsing again. So now the final thing the final thing we gotta do is just bring the uh, canola seeds o over. So I believe we can actually just, um, yeah, we can just dig, it. oh wait, no, wait, oh, for fuck's sake. That's okay. Um, yeah, we should just be able to dig here. There's some uh, this fucking fluid ducks. Um, item ducks. Yes. Okay. Um, should be able to just. We're gonna. You know what? We're gonna take the. Bleh, bleh, bleh. We're just gonna make take the effort to make this look a little pretty. Um, I'm so pretty. Uh, let's use, let's use our our freaking op mat talk. We really should be doing that. Um, um, yes, sir. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna take our item duck, bring it out and over, and then it should go up into there, and then oh man, uh, uh, uh. we need a servo. go
Man, it's dark. Oh no, I fell into the, the hole of misery again. Um, stop. Put the servo in there. No. I do not want you to do that. Okay. I'm going to say rest and ignore. Just going to bring it out. Yep, it is. Uh, let me get my... Sometimes the slime sling is really useful like this. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay. So, let's see. Look at that. Did it, does it make a bunch? No. Why are you? Oh. It's making it, right? Oh, yeah, it is working. Okay, sweet. Oh, we need some MF light up in this piece. Yeah, look at that. So. Everything looks to be working perfectly. Why are you... Why, why, why? Where is all that coming from? Why did you have all that, that mess up in there? I don't know. Uh, the important part, though, is that is that the system is working. So now we got... Um, now we got our special oil being made, and that's basically that's basically it right there. Um, and the the final part to this is that we're going to use this oil, of course, to power some generators. And now, actually, just since it's their own oil generators that we use, and I believe yes, we got nine of them over here. So the final part of this episode is we're going to set this up and put it into our fine fine boy right here. Um, Let's go like this. Yeah. Excellent. Um, do, do, oh, no. 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 Thank you. Oops. Oh, did it really do that? Of course it did. No, it didn't. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's get our fluid ducts. One, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, very nice. And then we're just gonna make a whole mess of this for now, but that's okay. Um, I believe if we dig correctly, we should be able to get out of here. Okay, we found our way out of the basement. Um, and then for the Final part. Um, we're going to just yeah, we're just gonna go over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably make this look pretty between episodes too. Um, and then I just need a servo. Yeah, I don't have one yet. Oh no, it's it's look at that, it's auto outputting. That's nice. Okay, so now it it's taking. Why is it? Okay, but yeah, no, the important part is it's all working, like just like that. Um, so I bet you that if we go down into our basement, let's check it out. Yeah, look at that. So we've got our crystallized oil in there and it's making power. So let us connect that up. We're going to try to not connect to what's already there. Um, yeah, see this? This I didn't even see. We don't have that. Okay, yeah, there we go. Because um, the, the wires limit um, how much power flows through them. But yeah, there we go. Now it's draining power out. And look at that. Very nice. Okay, so that should do it. Uh, and I don't remember exactly how much power this makes, but it makes quite a lot of power out of this. Um, what's really cool, though, is that there is one final step to this we didn't do today because it is quite involved and is going to be its own episode. But we can actually make a final phase of oil called Empowered Oil. Um, and we're going to tackle that next episode. But for now, it's been your boy, Ward Student. Uh, thank you for for coming along with me on this super tech heavy episode i know i mean look at this absolute craziness behind me it's just 
completely insane of me to have done something like this but um yeah that's gonna do it so have have a great day guys and i'll i'll see you on the next one Thank you.